Hey, good morning. This is the Big JB. It's Wednesday. It's yard work Wednesday, as a matter of fact, but I've managed to find a spot where you don't hear the leaf blowers. <laughs> like last week's, uh, <laughs> last week's morning thunder on Wednesday, where it was just the sound of leaf blowers. That's all. I, I did think that the title of last Wednesday's was pretty, pretty clever. Leaf blowers suck. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, I didn't record yesterday because I was running late. Um, excuse me. Uh, but Monday night, I got together with my brother. Uh, we had a really, really good dinner and hangout time. Just the two of us chilling at our favorite pub in Seattle called The Six Arms. It is a really nice... Um, I don't know, to say really nice, this is not fancy when I say really nice, I just really like being there. They have great tater tots, one of our favorite thing, favorite things to order on the menu. They also have incredible hot wings, but I didn't have any um, this last time. And they do uh, their own brews, uh, and so I enjoyed um, one of their ales. I don't drink very often um, at all, so, um, you know, when I had when I had that beer it was the only thing that I had <laughs> for the you know two and a half hours or something like that that we hung out so we had a really good time I was thinking this morning on the way into work about animation and how much I like animation I actually took an animation class um, when I was oof, a teenager and I can't remember exactly how old I was I think I was driving age um, I took it with a friend of mine and we um, we learned all about animation. We looked at different kinds of animation. We learned about how to animate things ourselves, um, different techniques of animation, and we did a lot of stuff on um, on three by five cards. You know, creating our own stuff. Um, but that was, I mean, we didn't do anything like cell shaded animation. And a lot of my stuff was like stick figures and, and that kind of thing. There's a fruit fly flying around my car, and I thought that I got rid of him. Uh, I think I might have just stunned him because he's still stupidly looking around here for fruit. And I still haven't been able to get him yet. I even opened my door, my car door, and he uh, he refused to go out. It's driving me crazy. I hate fruit flies. There is no fruit in my car. I have no idea where he came from. Um, <laughs> it's bizarre. Anyway. Um, so I really like animation. I still, oh, I still love watching animated movies, especially stuff from Pixar. I mean, of course, who doesn't love a, a Pixar movie? Um, not only do they have great animation, but they also tell a great story. Um, I miss, I miss cell, cell animation. Um, I know that computer animation, I think, is actually easier at this point than doing um, traditional hand-drawn animation. But I really miss it. Um, I'd like to see some movies come out. Um, from somebody, even if it's not Disney. I mean, Disney's, you know, of course, classic. Um, and then I think, you know, Warner Brothers had the Looney Tunes, um, all the Looney Tunes cartoons, and then they had a lot of other great stuff, but mostly for TV. So I'd like to see some, some animation done again. And I really enjoy it as a storytelling method. And I think that uh, the Japanese culture actually has it better uh, in terms of how they use uh, animation for telling stories that aren't necessarily just for kids. In fact, I'm pretty sure animation e even started in our own country as um, as entertainment for adults. So I'm not saying that we every you know animated movie needs to be for adults, but I think we need to get out of this idea that it's just for kids. I was uh, so on that whole topic. You could do a TV series of your favorite book um, or you know, books, if it's, if it's multiple, and it could be really good, especially if it was animated. I thought about, um, specifically, um, the Harry Potter novels. Um, one of the people that I follow on DeviantArt, and if you're not familiar with DeviantArt, it's nothing bad, um, but there are some really great artists, um, on DeviantArt that do just some incredible work. And one of the ones that I follow, this is a huge Harry Potter fan, and they have just some incredible drawings, um, neat character designs, stuff that is not, um, it's not caricatures of the people from the movies, which, which I also appreciate. But if I was going to do a Harry Potter animated series, that, her art is the, is the art that I would use for the character designs. And I think you could do so much more and do a, a much more accurate representation of the characters. Um, not that the movies are bad, but there's also so much missing to take some of those books and condense it down into a two hour movie is, I think they miss a lot. Um, yeah, don't get me started on the Half-Blood Prince movie. Um, 
but uh, but with the, with the you know with animation, you could tell the story of a book over the course of you know a normal a normal TV series, you know, thirteen episodes, even if it was a half an hour. 13, 21 episodes for a regular season, but even if they were just half an hour, that would be plenty of time to tell a story. For 21 episodes, that'd be awesome, because then you'd get to have the whole story, and you'd get to see really cool representation of characters, um, and the effects, you know, obviously there's a lot of things you can do with animation that you can't do with, with live action, so... Uh, I appreciate that. I, I, w I would like to see that. I don't think, you know, a, a Harry Potter TV show would ever happen. Um, but I think it would be really cool to, to do and not have it be just for kids and not have it be regulated so tightly so that you could do some of the things that they do in the Harry Potter books without having to to dumb it down because of the, the child audience. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see more of that stuff. Some of my favorite movies are, are, are animated movies or, or series even um, Cowboy Bebop if you've never seen it's, it's a really funny name but if you've never seen it as far as um, ja Japanese anime goes the stuff that they've produced for that is a great story and incredible animation I mean um, even in the first episode first couple episodes they have some um, just the way that the, the bodies are animated when they're fighting and stuff really really cool so um, I, I highly recommend that um, you know, it's an interesting thing. I'd have to think about it, but maybe I should do my top five, top five favorite animated films. Um, so I might do that in the notes. If I don't have it below, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, um, just to just to throw that up. So I'll throw that up. Ew! <laughs> just to put it out there. Uh, that's not great context either. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go inside. This has been The Big JB. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for subscribing. Please don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB. I'll see everybody tomorrow.